Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm in a very different setup and I'm really, really struggling with the lighting and stuff because I've just got back from college so it's about, right now it is quarter to four and the sun is just setting. It's also a blizzard outside, like it is crazy snowing. Before I jump into the video, I do just want to say that we are so close, if not have already hit it by the time this video goes up to 1,000 subscribers. So if you do enjoy this video, please make sure to smash a like and subscribe because it means so much to me and yeah, I just love each and every one of you and the fact that there's nearly a thousand of you blows my mind. So let's get into the actual storage of my makeup. So I keep my makeup in these drawers from Ikea. These are the either Malum or Malm drawers. I'm not sure how you say it. I think it's Malum drawers. And I have the one, two, three, four, five, six set here. And then I have two bedside tables which match it, but I don't keep my makeup in my bedside tables. I just keep my makeup in here. And then on top, I just have my like body sprays and deodorants and stuff. Right, so I'm going to zoom you in onto the very first drawer. Okay, so this is the very first drawer. And in this one, I keep all of my eyeshadow palettes. Also, please excuse my nails, I haven't painted them and I've just took my shellac off and they're a bit gross, so excuse that. Now, I'm just going to kind of run through my products but not go into detail on every single one, else we'll be here for hours and I don't really want to make this video over like an hour long. <laughs> At the front here, I have the W7 In The Buff palette, my Too Faced Naturalized palette right here. I have two Tanya Bear Cosmetics palettes, the Hollywood Eye palette and the Galaxy palette. Then I have the Too Faced Smoky Eye palette, which I want to say is probably getting towards 10 years old. I've had this for years and years and years. As you can see, it's very well used when I was younger. I used to play around with these shadows all the time, but I never really reach for it anymore. I don't even think you can still get this palette. I think it's like completely discontinued. Again, I got this around the same time. It's the Too Faced, what is this? Uh, like a Virgin palette, well, drop in it. Then I have the Sleek eyeshadow palette in the shade, I was gonna say. It's not really in the shade. The palette O Natural 601. And then back here, I have a L'Oreal eyeshadow palette in Rose. This one just has some really pretty rosy, like, champagne colours and mauve colours, as the name would indicate. The Soap and Glory Lid Stuff palette. I haven't actually had a chance to use this yet. Oh, if I can open it. There it is. I've swatched a few of the shades, but they are so creamy and so pretty. They're gorgeous. I got it for Christmas. I have the Soap X Makeup Revolution palette, which is... By far my favourite eyeshadow palette at the minute. It is so stunning. Just look at how pretty this is. All of the colours are super pigmented and just gorgeous. This green, I don't think you're ready for this. Look at that. It's just so pretty. And then finally in this drawer I have the Makeup Revolution um, Flawless 3 Resurrection palette. This was my all-time favourite palette for a very long time. I actually used this palette for my prom makeup, which I did vlog my prom and I did film me doing my makeup. So if you do want to see how I achieve my prom makeup look, cheeky little self promo, I have got a vlog on my channel. Okay, so moving on to the next draw, I have my like mascaras, eyeliners, single eyeshadows, everything like that in this draw. Now to store all of these, I have these two trays from IKEA. Now these came in a set of three. I actually have the other one around right here somewhere. Here it is. So this one is just a plain and simple tray that I use to um, hold all my everyday makeup. And then there's this one right here which has two longer ones and three square ones. And then this one which has a huge square one and then four square ones right here. These were amazing like value. They weren't very expensive at all. They were again from Ikea. So. I will link these down below because they fit perfect in this drawer. Like these are not coming out anytime soon, they really wedge in. Let's start from left to right. So over here I have the Collection Glam Crystals. This is so, so pretty and I think it's about £3. 
Now this one is in the shade Funk 3, so it's a pretty champagne, coppery, not really coppery is it? Like a champagne goldie goldy colour. And this just looks stunning either pushed onto the lid, like I put it on my finger and tap it on my lid, or as like a topper for eyeliner. Next one is the Maybelline uh, Master Ink. This is a, you know one of the eyeliners with the little pot and pointy thing like that? Oh, you can't see. I don't really use this very often just because it's a lot harder to use than my other ones but the good thing about this is it doesn't transfer and it dries completely matte so it's super long lasting. Okay so here I have the Soap and Glory Super Cat Liner. I use this one all the time. This one is by far my favourite as well as, where is it? This one, the L'Oreal Perfect Slim Liner. These two are amazing. If you're looking for some really easy felt tip liners, these ones are definitely the ones you should go for. Now I have all these Coal liners. So I have this purple Berry M coal liner. I never really use it. I think my nieces may have attached this because it looks like it's been used, but I've never used it. I got it in a goodie bag from the clothes show once. Then next is another Soap and Glory product. This is the Crazy Sexy Coal. I love this coal liner just because it is so creamy, like it doesn't drag at all. And also it's one that you twist up so there's not the fuss of sharpening it which is so handy. To match the L'Oreal liner I also have the L'Oreal Colour Shade Coal Liner which I think came in a set actually with that liner. Just a really good coal liner just like this one. If you're looking for a coal and a felt tip liner in a set definitely go for this one. I think I actually got it from Duty Free, or my mum got it for me in Duty Free. I don't know if you can buy it as a set in a shop. And these two I never actually use. It's both model zone. Now this one I've lost the cap for, which I actually used to use quite a lot, but it's nowhere near as creamy as my other coal liners. And it's called, oh it's just called eyeliner pencil. It's alright, it's not great. This one I don't quite understand the concept it's shiny it's actually got pieces of glitter in the eyeliner and it is so huge that there is no way you are getting that anywhere near your eye so don't really understand that one but keep it anyway the next section is my brow section so i have the nyx micro brow pencil which i don't use very often just because it's not the right shade for me and then for the same reason this brow archery i think i've actually nearly used this all up so I have used this one for quite a while. I think I've had this one for about three years. I've lost the end for this spoolie. I don't know where that's gone. And the brow pencil that I'm actually using every single day at the minute is the Soap and Glory Brow Archery, or just Archery, Brow Tint and Precision Shaping Pencil. So on one side, it has this little felt tip liner, which I've actually really enjoyed using. Um, it's perfect for drawing in little hairs. I don't know what's happened to my voice, hold on. And then on the other side is just this twist up pencil. It's actually a lot thicker than my other brow pencils, which I really enjoy using just because it makes my brows so quick to do. And then the two brow gels I have is the Rimmel Brow This Way and the Collection, uh, Natural Collection Clear Mascara. Okay, moving on. So I have this little section here which I just have for cream eyeshadows and primers. I only have one primer because I tend to use concealer as my eyeshadow primer. Now the primer I do have is the Collection Primed and Ready Primer. I've had this one for ages and by ages I mean years, like maybe three years. And I just love it. It's a really good eyeshadow primer and I think it was like three pounds and it's lasted me this long and it is nowhere near running out. The next thing I have is this L'Oreal Eye Paint. It's a little bit like, or it looks like, the... Um, Stila, you know the little liquid eyeshadows from Stila? It just comes with this little dofa applicator and it's this gorgeous champagne colour, really really pretty on the lid. It's just a really quick thing to whack over your lid and blend out, it's just a quick eyeshadow look. And then of course the Maybelline Colour Tattoo 24 hour, I don't know if this has dried up, I really hope it hasn't. Oh no, it's pretty good to go. I use this all the time, I've had this again for years and I absolutely love it. Down here I won't really go through these because I never use them but they are just single eyeshadows. These ones I don't even know the brand. Spectacular? Who knows? And then a little Too Faced single eyeshadow and a Tanya Burr loose pigment. 
Okay, now let's get on to the bit that's a little bit out of hand, which is my mascaras. I have way too many mascaras for one person, I know, but they've kind of just collected over the years. Let's go through them. So I have the Miss Sporty Fabulous Lash Mascara, the Miss Sporty Lash Millionaire All in One Mascara, the Bad Girl Lash Benefit Mini Mascara, the Number 7 Lash Impact Mini Mascara, the Number 7 Extreme Length Mini Mascara, <laughs> this is going to be a while, just this sleek mascara, it doesn't actually have a name on, but the wand is so cool, like look at that, I've never seen a wand like that before, it's perfect for lower lashes. My all-time favourite, which is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I did have a waterproof one of these, but I had to throw it away because I'd had it for ages. The L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic Mascara, which I also love but have run out of. So I really need to bin this, but I keep it in here just to remind me that I like it and I should buy another one. I also have the Soap and Glory. I swear this video isn't sponsored by Soap and Glory. I just love their products. Thick and Fast Mascara. I also use this on a daily basis. I kind of switch it up between these two. This one is very volumizing and like in your face, whereas this one is quite natural, so I tend to wear this one more for college. And then finally, I have two of the same, which are the L'Oreal Paris Volume Million Excess Mascara, which I haven't actually used in a very long time. Okie dokie, now let's move on to the last draw, which is pretty rammed. So I'm going to start with this section right here, which is kind of just the main section of all of my face palettes. So where to start? I'll start with these two bits right here. So this is the Makeup Revolution Liquid Highlight Drops and also the Ted Baker, I'm pretty sure. That's not supposed to be on there. I'm pretty sure that's a collection concealer sticker. This is the Ted Baker, even though the name is rubbed off. Luckily, I remember. Blush and Cheek Stick. This is a really pretty product just to whack on your cheeks and blend it out. Especially, like, in the summer when I'm not wearing much makeup. I just pop this on my cheeks and it just adds a really healthy colour and glow. From here, I also have the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter. This one is in the shade Golden Lights. It's a really pretty gold highlighter, but I have kind of gone off it a little bit and strayed away just because it's very yellow. I have to be in the right mood. One of the best highlighting products in the drugstore, which is the Sleek Solstice Palette. It's so pretty. I'm not gonna rave about it for very long just because I'm sure you've heard about a million and one people talk about it. Here I have some blushes. Also, I do just want to say this section of the drawer isn't organised at all. It's just kind of in here where it fits. I have the another Soap & Glory product. Soap & Glory Love at First Blush, which is currently my all-time favourite blusher. It's just really, really pretty. And I love the fact that it has these little white sections in, which to the eye looks like it's going to be a highlight. But then when you swatch it, it's actually pink. That just blows my mind. How is it white there, but then pink when you swatch it? mind blown and also the max factor blush which is actually broken might need thrown away because it just smashes and gets everywhere the only two powders i have are both the rimmel stay matte i'm pretty sure is what it's called the name has rubbed off this one is in the shade 04 sandstorm which is too dark for me at the minute but works in the summer and because it was too dark, I actually got the transparent one, which I prefer over the coloured one. So I will probably have to rebuy this soon because I have hit pan. And again, we'll just use this in the summer. On this side, I have the W7 Cheeky Trio palette. I also have, which is a really strong contender for the sleek palette. This is the Soph X Makeup Revolution highlighting palette. Soph has just smashed it with her products with Makeup Revolution. They are all so pretty. This quad right here is slightly too dark. I can get away with this shade right here, but all of these ones, oh, they're just so pretty. Then I have the Tanya Burr like, cheek palette. This is the rosy one. I have the Sleek Cream Contour palette. This one I used to use all the time, and then I just got too lazy to cream contour. I have this in the one um, light. Of course. Down here I have the, oh if I can get it, Collection Highlight and Sculpt Duo. I used to use this all the time but never really use it anymore. The Maybelline Master Sculpt. Again, used to use this all the time and never really use it anymore. 
and also the collection Gorgeous Glow, which again is such a pretty um, blusher. It also kind of doubles up as a blusher and a highlighter. And the Barry M blusher, this one doesn't have a shade, I don't think. No, it doesn't. It's just like a beautiful corally colour. Oh, I just realised I've skipped over like the most important product in my whole makeup. <laughs> I have the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. Now, if you are going to splurge on one product, I would 1 million percent recommend this. This is by far the best contour bronzy highlighty palette I have ever tried. All of the highlights are matte, so they make for perfect like under the eye powders or if you really want to all over the face powders. It's just amazing. The one thing that it's not too great for is like traveling because it is so big and I'm terrified because it was so expensive that it's gonna smash. Let's dive further back. So back here I have my foundations and the number seven beautiful skin BB cream which I always use when I'm on holiday. The Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. This is the best foundation I have ever, ever tried at the drugstore. I wear it every single day. Well, every day that I'm wearing foundation, I don't wear foundation every day. The L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour matte foundation. The Revlon Colorstay Foundation and also the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Next, I have concealers in this part, which again is a little bit OTT. So, let me get them all out. My favourite one, let's start with that, because why not, is currently the Rimmel, I want to say? Yeah, Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Concealer. I quite want to try the foundation just because I love the concealer so much. The 17 Stay Time Concealer. This one again is a really good favourite of mine. Oh, I also have another 17 Stay Time. This one is just more full. Okay, so my memory card just became full up. So I've just deleted a few things, but I've no idea where I got to. So I was on concealers. Now I have three of the collection Lasting Perfection concealers. These ones are currently too dark for me, but they work really well in the summer. Then I have the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. I've had this for, no joke, maybe six or seven years. Maybe that's a bit of a push. Five years, minimum. And finally, the Bourjois Radiance Reveal Concealer. I think this may be nearly all gone. Oh no, it's still got a little bit in it. Now, this front section right here has my lip balms in it. Oh, just a few lip balms that I use. Now, back here I have all of my lipsticks, not lip glosses. I have the Colour Reshape Matte in the shade 633, which is just a really pretty colour. It's like a nude, your lips look better colour. Then I have the Colour Reshape JLo's Nude, which I've actually very nearly run out of. It's not got very much at all. And I was then in Boots looking for another lipstick, you know, just browsing, and I saw this one, and I thought, oh wow, that looks really pretty. Different packaging, definitely don't have this one. Oh wait, yes I do, after I bought it, I brought it home. It's literally the exact same lipstick as this one, just repackaged. Then I have this Sleek Red Lipstick, a Maybelline, is this Maybelline? I'm gonna go for Maybelline, I'm pretty sure this is Maybelline. Um, lipstick in the shade 418, never really use that one, never really reach for it. Another red lipstick, which is a Rimmel one. A Makeup Revolution lipstick, this is a gorgeous colour, it's like a really dark burgundy berry colour. Oh, it's so pretty in the autumn. Very similar colour, but a bit more expensive, this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade... Copenhagen, I believe. The two NYX lip lingerie products I have are the ones in the shade uh, Satin Ribbon, which is more of like a peachy, pinky colour, and in the shade Corset, which is more of like a cool toned colour. I'm actually wearing this one today. And then back here, I don't know, really know why they're back here, because these are lip glosses, and my lip glosses are somewhere else. But I have the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Lip Gloss. This one I wear every single day when I just want like a natural glossy lip. And then also the Sexy Mother Pucker Extreme Plump XL Lip Gloss. Now, that is everything from there. But back here, I actually have a little insert. And, oh, I forgot to say, this container is also from Ikea. 
I'll link it down below. This has all of my lip glosses in as well as two NYX lip liners, one in like a burgundy colour and this one which is super gorgeous. This is in the shade, why can't I find any of the shades here? Uh, Peekaboo Neutral. Then these two lip glosses, a clear Barry M lip gloss, a number 7 lip gloss, these two Tanya Burr lip glosses right here and these four are all 17 lip glosses and then also another Tanya Burr lip gloss in the shade Just Peachy. Oh that definitely isn't me in shot. <laughs> Let's bend down a little bit. Okay so that is the end of the video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like I said at the start of the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And that's it. I don't have any more to say. So I love you all lots and lots and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye!